Hi, my name is Sarah Kovac, and I was born with arthrogryposis multiplex congenita, or AMC as it's known. Um, it rendered my shoulders, arms, and wrists and hands um, pretty much useless. I do most things with my feet, including changing diapers, feeding him, bathing him, all that good stuff that goes into motherhood. And so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to not only tell my story, but show my story. So I hope you enjoy. All right. Come here. Quit your kicking. You're a bad baby, aren't you? Kicking and kicking. No, you're a good baby. You're a good baby. Let's get you buttoned up, okay? Yeah. Give me those sweet little footsies. Hard part, buddy. Hold still. Hold still. This is why we prefer the zippy kind, don't we? All these darn little buttons take so long. One more, one more. Good job, baby. I think the worst part about being pregnant was trying to shave my underarms. <laughs> um, I can't stand stubbly um, underarms. Well, probably because my arms, well, I mean, I wouldn't like it anyway, but my arms are always hanging down, so if there's stubble under there, it gets pretty irritating. Um, but I have to shave my underarms, well, like I would shave my left underarm with my right foot. So I'm sure you can imagine how difficult it was trying to get my right foot over my giant fat belly to reach my other underarm. It was miserable. So I told my husband, um, if there's another baby in our future, there's also going to be laser hair removal. Because... <laughs> I, I had a lot of back pain. I really had a very easy pregnancy, but I had a lot of back pain because of, you know, having to eat with my feet and curl up in weird positions, and there's just a lot of pressure on my back. I didn't have any experience with babies at all. Um, so, you know, I, I, I sort of got the impression that everybody felt like I just didn't know what I was in for. Um, I was told... There was no way I'd be able to bathe a baby, um, which I do that. And it is difficult. The hardest part about it, honestly, is just trying to get him out when he's so slippery and wet. But I've never, never bobbled him once. Um, I think he's had less accidents with me than with his father, for sure. I knew there'd be a bit of a learning curve for me because nobody could really tell me how to do any of these things. I'd have to figure them out on my own. So, while I was learning, I had my, uh, my very giving, dear husband home. And he doesn't have any disability as uh, either. Or, I say either because Ethan was born completely n normal, healthy, which is, is a thrill to us. And it's actually kind of strange watching him do things that I have never been able to do. To grab things or to crawl or just... What? 
he already has abilities that I've never had and never will have. So it's interesting. It's an it's a weird feeling. But it's also a proud feeling when your kids can <laughs> when your kids can exceed what you're capable of. It's kind of a proud feeling. I'm so proud of this little guy. Now I take care of Ethan pretty much by myself and take him out and take him driving places sometimes. It's kind of a pain, so I don't do it a lot. But we do everything everybody else does, don't we? Yeah, we do.